Hey you crypto monkeys, right let's get straight into it. What's happening with Bitcoin? So if you watch my previous videos, uh, we're doing what we expected to do. We are bouncing off the uh, 200 MA. Um, hopefully we're going to start to hit some of these next levels. The next level I see is around 52,000 and then if we break that we need to get to about 56,000 and that's the level that we really really need to watch. Uh, now something significant has happened. As you can see we have now broke out of this bearish divergence. We've, for the first time we've broken out of it and it's expected because we're coming to the end of it. Now the problem with this is the one in May was significant because it ran for a long time. This is less significant because it was a much steeper decline in the uh, bearish divergence. So what we could do is we could see it get to 52 or 56 and the, um, the RSI could get up to around about 46 and then dump back down. So we just need to keep an eye on this. So for the moment I wouldn't get too bullish until we break some serious levels and the first major level that we need to break is we need to get above the 200 MA and we need to, sorry, not the 200 MA, the 21 MA on the weekly and we need to stay above it. And that is around, what is that around? See, we, we keep rejecting off this and that is around, uh, I think no, that's, that's around this next level, which is about 52K. So it kind of aligns with this resistance that we have here. Okay, so if you get above here, confirm next week or so. Well, if you start the next candle, next week candle above there, I will be far more happy and far more optimistic. Uh, let's have a look at the stock market because crypto is correlated to the stock market. Um, so as you can see here, stock market's doing okay. We bounced off the trend. Okay, we bounced off the lower trend as we, we were expecting again. And now we are struggling to get a new local higher high. Um, so I think if we get that today in the future, so keep an eye on the futures today around about 11 o'clock UK time, uh, let's see if we can break above that positive, okay, because if the stock market's doing well, there's more chance that the crypto market's going to be doing well as well. So let's look at some other coins like DOT, DOT has had a significant decrease and is still within this uh, bullish uh, pennant here and I could see DOT going to about 31 31.41, $31.41, and uh, we need to decide what uh, happens there. And that is because that is where this downward trend is. So we need to get above this downward trend, confirm up, and then continue, continue up. Okay. Now, if you look at this, these are all lower highs. Yeah. So we're not meeting these uh, lower lows just yet. So it's, this, this is quite bullish in its own regard. I know it looks terrible for DOT because it, it seems weak, but we are on its trend. Now, if you go to the monthly, as you can see, look, we probably confirm this uh, candle, the monthly candle above this trend now, and hopefully we could take a significant rise up. Um, but obviously we need to look at Bitcoin first. Now in yesterday's video, I did tell you guys about the Sin City uh, NFT that dropped on Binance. And uh, it's done really well. For me, I've done, I bought about eight and they've all pretty much doubled for me. Uh, I took some profit, I sold about two. Um, I'm gonna, you know, obviously take profit as I go along because I'm trying to figure out how to take profit, best to take profit in uh, NFTs. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take profit as I, go, as I go along. And what I really want to do is just like crypto, I want to play with house money. So I want to have, uh, you know, I, 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 anything that I put in there, I wanna take out and then leave the rest in for the longer term. Now, what these NFTs do is they actually give you in-game in perks, in-game weapons. We don't know what they are yet, so they could be significant. They might not be, so it's kind of lottery. So yes, they're not really visible yet, and but they will become visible. I'm guessing when they decide to show us, really reveal to us what they are. Uh, what I do is I don't do the auctions because I'm impatient. What I do is I go to the fixed price uh, and I just buy whatever the lowest price one is i'm not buying anything right now because obviously uh, sorry that is that's not right let me go back pc is pretty slow so what i do is i go to this filter i filter it by fixed price then i go to low to high and i just pay whatever they are asking me uh, again sorry my pc is really slow so the lowest price they're asking for right now is 624 
I believe this is going to keep going up, but I, I'm not personally buying any more at, at, at these prices because, you know, I already got in earlier. So there's no point in me buying any more. Uh, you can obviously pay BNB ETH as well, but I feel like they're a bit more expensive. So I just do it through uh, for BUSD. Uh, cool. So what else is there? So you've got, if you go to OpenSea, actually, there is another NFT for uh, Sin City. And that one is actually an NFT that you get for... Uh, performing specific tasks and figuring out puzzles and what they do is really really clever people figure that out and then they sell it on OpenSea and the floor price for that right now is 2.78 uh, ETH so it's a bit more expensive so I'm not really willing to take the dive on that but if this dips a little bit more what I might do is I might take some profits out of my uh, the other blueprint NFT and put it and buy one of these because I think these would be more significant there's far less of them but th these are increasing um, as, as time goes on as well right that's all i have to say about the nfts a coin that i am really looking at and i believe in long term is bondly i know recently they've had when i say recently in the last year they've had a lot of troubles with uh you know scams and their their uh their ceo running off but they are really really legit legitimate team and the people they have left there are really clever uh, i was you know, I was watching the Air May last week. They've got a lot of lot of great things coming up. They've got a great partnership or they've been invested by Aaron Maker Brands as well. So if for a coin that's this low cap, I think there's a lot of potential here. So I'm just buying this coin at the dips. Again, I uh, bought some here around about 12, uh, 0.126. Um, again, I'm going to do a whole big video on Bondly because I really, really believe in the project. I think it's got a bright future. Um, even if there is a bear market, I'll keep reinvesting in this project, DCA my price down. Um, again, risky, low market cap token, but I believe in this one long term. And, you know, it, it has got a kind of a steady, you know, there's, it's very volatile, obviously, but it's a steady, steady uptrend. Uh, but these kind of movements are expected for these low caps. So I will do a whole video on Bondly. Um, really like the team, really like the product. And I think they've got some really, really big things coming up. I think what's happened to them in the past, people still remember. So people are less inclined to invest in them right now. But people have short memories and they will forget that because they are delivering every single day. And their partnerships coming up every single week. So uh, yeah, so watch out for Bondly as well. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, have a nice day, and I will see you tomorrow.